Hi, I'm Mike Benton for HTC, and in this video we're going to go over what to do when you first get your G1. When you first turn on your brand new G1, I'll tell you basically what to do when you get started. I'll show you how to use it, so just tap that to get rid of that. You're going to need a Gmail or a Google account login. If you have one, go ahead and click sign in and then enter your login and username. Otherwise, click create. I'll tell you to slide open the keyboard. Then you enter in your first name, last name, and this is where you choose a username. It's important to write this information down along with your password in case you forget it. So let's do this. Now for the username, you can choose a new Gmail account and you can use the period a couple times in the name. For example, I put in this period is period helpful. That's useful in case the username that you want is already taken. When you put that in, click next, and it will check to see if it's available. Okay, it's not available, so we need to pick another one. It also gives you some suggestions. If you don't want those, just choose another one. Okay, so we've successfully found one that's available, and now we're going to enter in a password. There's also a security question. Favorite food, city of birth, best childhood friend's name, and high school name. So choose which one of those you'll be able to remember and click the create button. It'll display the Google Terms of Service. If you want, you can read that. Otherwise, click I agree. Then it'll ask you to type in a CAPTCHA. Once it's been created, it'll tell you to go ahead and close that keyboard. Now when you first set up the phone, and every so often you're going to see the sync icon up in the notifications bar. That's synchronizing your Gmail account, your calendar, and contacts with your G1. Go ahead and click Finish Setup. Now your G1's ready to use, but you're not done yet. Go over to Gmail and log in, gmail.com, enter in the username that you chose, along with your password. It's going to load. Go over to Settings, Accounts, go down to Google Account Settings, Google Account Settings again. Next to Email Addresses, click on Edit, and add in an additional email address. This is in case you forget your username or password, you can recover it using your existing email address. What's great about Gmail and the G1 is that you can add contacts through the web browser and it will be synchronized to your phone. This makes it really easy to stay in sync. Additionally, you can also do the same with the calendar events. Anything you enter on the G1 and in the Gmail calendar will show up on your phone or on the web browser. Now let's look at the unlock pattern. Back on the G1, click on the menu button, and then settings, security and location, and then set unlock pattern. You'll have to put it in twice to verify it. Press confirm. If you have the box checked for required pattern, you will have to put in the pattern before you can use your phone. If you're in public places a lot, you might want to uncheck use that visible pattern. So when you put in your pattern, people won't see it. Now if you put in the wrong pattern five times, it will time you out, and you'll have to wait. If you forget your pattern, you can unlock it with your username and password from your Google account. It will ask you to record a new pattern. Click Continue, or you can click Cancel if you want. That's all for now. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. And until next time, I'm Mike Benton for HTC.